Hello everyone, welcome back to the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate Certification Catalyst Series. We are back with question 15. Okay, let's see the question. What Terraform command can enable syntax level formatting and consistent canonical style across all Terraform code? So for example, many of us are writing Terraform code, but there must be some sort of a syntax formatting or for example, style lint kind of a thing uh, to enable some sort of a consistency in how Terraform code should look like or the indentation and all those things. Okay. So for example, in JS, you have JS lint, JSON lint and all of those things. Okay. Something like that for Terraform, what command can be used? So basically, again, as you can see, this question is also focusing on the Terraform commands. So you need to understand and need to know that different Terraform commands for leveraging different functionalities within Terraform. Okay, let's see the answer A. Run Terraform style hyphen enable command to apply a consistent layout or formatting to each Terraform script file. So to a naive user who doesn't know about the Terraform commands, this might seem like a correct answer, the Terraform style, because the question is also talking about consistent canonical style, but I actually there is no such command called Terraform style. So option A is incorrect. That is why this is something where you cannot basically use your IQ or judgment. This comes some completely something that you need to know that you need to read from the documentation and something like that okay then run b run terraform fmt command at the root directory and it will apply consistent formatting to all files in the root directory and any nested child directory which seems a correct answer because there is actually a terraform fmt command which is actually the terraform provided command to do this sort of an formatting so basically the answer is b normally because Terra Terraform FFT FMT normally does this. But let's just park this for now and keep B separate. Let's see. See, this is only possible in the Terraform Enterprise version team and governance package. Again, not available in Terraform open source. Again, this is incorrect. First of all, Terraform FMT command is available everywhere. Okay. And third, again, I'm mentioning here that normally HashiCorp does not keep back individual components of the Terraform which are needed for normal use cases that this is only for enterprise this is not for OSS and all this is for OSS and so on okay normally what enterprise does is that it has all the flavor full flavor of Terraform open source but along with that it helps you for your enterprise use cases like for example you need disaster recovery you need HA clustering you need single sign-on audit logs you need to uh, enable multiple teams and all those cases. So normal functionalities like Terraform plan, apply and all of these things that is available everywhere. So C is incorrect. Now let's see D. Again, the answer in D seems mostly like B. So let's see turn Terraform F50, but with the recursive flag enabled to ensure that all child directories are also properly formatted along with the parent directory. So difference between B and D is both of them are saying there is Terraform F50 command, but D is saying that it needs to add a recursive flag so that if I am running this command at the root directory, both the root directory, all the files in the root directory, but if there are, for example, any child files, child module files in my module directory, they should also be formatted. So actually the correct answer is D, because if I just run Terraform FMT at the root directory, only the files at that directory, no child directory will be formatted. So the correct answer is D, run Terraform FMT with the recursive flag enabled to ensure that all the child directories are also properly formatted along with the parent directory. So basically very simple question. Okay. If you know about the um, command, then you should be able to answer it. So let's see this command FMT. So it is used to rewrite the Terraform config files to a canonical format and style. It applies to a subset of the Terraform language style conventions along with other minor adjustments for readability. Okay, so it will basically based on it will basically format your code and make it compliant with the Terraform language style conventions mostly. Okay, now see one thing here this recursive. This process the files in subdirectories by default only the given directory or current directory is processed. So if we want to touch or impact or change both the current working directory which is the root directory where i have my main tf file maybe when i'm running the terraform fmt and also the child directories then i need to add this recursive flag it will format all the files in all directories that is the correct answer so you can see the correct answer is d so basically go over this command along with all the other commands these are very important and there will be questions on this commands very simple to the point questions which will come based on your 
understanding of the commands if you understand what this command does you are going to be able to answer that question there is no complexity involved so again this was a short uh, discussion but please share your feedback in the comment section and let me know in case of any concerns